Hi, Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So I'm hearing a message here right away. Uh, and this is even connecting, I think, to some of the previous collective readings I've done recently. There is definitely an energy I'm hearing Spirit say time well spent. Something about maybe the time that you've spent right now on yourself has been, you know, really for your benefit. With the Nine of Pentacles here, I'm hearing the vibration is rising. So that's definitely been coming up here as well. The King of Wands is beneath that. So let's just put these like this and see. So I feel some of you, there is kind of what seems to be right now a bit of a fork in the road. Um, now this could be be between you and an existing partner. There could be some something about a fork in the road. We have the Two of Wands actually that is coming up as crowning this reading. And I'm kind of getting the feeling here that this reading, there could be two people coming through or there could be two timelines in which you have a new person a new partner and maybe somebody from the past or that might be vice versa to where a person who you are connecting to might have two different options because we have the seven of swords here but we'll see as we go it may not be for everybody but um, I'm also getting someone here could be dealing with the Pisces again not everybody but there is Pisces coming up here when I'm looking at this um, king of cups so this seems to be a connection for a lot of you or for some of you I'm getting that you have been through kind of this feeling to where you are almost like on your last leg here. Um, again, it could be involving a particular connection that you are currently in or just kind of when it comes to your love life, you know, with this nine of pentacles, you might be moving through this refreshing energy where you are, you know, raising your vibration, you are heading towards more self security. But I feel like with this Nine of Wands and the and the Seven of Pentacles, there's some kind of connection here which feels to me like it's on thin ice. So you may be holding on to something, wondering, you know, is this connection really going to go somewhere? You know, am I investing in the right kind of um, roots here? Is it, you know, what's... I feel like there's something here where you are questioning the direction of your love life or possibly someone also around you. I'm seeing something about a grocery store, something about like, it looks like Whole Foods or somewhere that has organic um, vegetables. So I don't know what that means for you, if that's like a sign or somebody works there. This also might be that you have a call here to eat healthier, diet, nutrition, things that are about just focusing on yourself here. But for this connection that we're picking up on today, again, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of feelings here of decisions I keep getting. So the actual connection between the two of you is coming up as the King of Cups between you and this person. And... Hmm. And they are coming up as the Seven of Swords and their thoughts and their feelings about you is the Page of Pentacles. So this is definitely somebody who has been wanting to um, offer something to you. I'm getting a connection to music here. Um, so there could be someone's a musician or there's a connection to music. But this is somebody here, whoever's coming up is being connected to you. It feels almost like something very new to me, you know, with these books here and the crystal and the pentacle. So it could be a new person. So this could be, again, two people. Or this is just definitely someone who almost gives you the feeling that they want to, like, learn something from this connection or start a new um, it's a very again like the best way to put it is it's a very almost like youthful in a way but with the books here it's something to learn so it's either the beginning stages of something or they want to sort of initiate the beginning stages maybe they're going through whoever this is could be going through kind of a learning curve a learning process in their spiritual journey and in this particular connection maybe um I do feel like that is the case for some of you. There's a King of Cups coming up here. They could be a water sign. Again, they don't have to be, but there's something here coming up with like the, the Magician, the Pentacle, the Sword, the Cup here, something about growth. So this person could be moving through a lot of spiritual growth here. Whoever's coming up is being connected to you. And that could be part of what the crossroads is of sort of maybe even a question around what's being invested in. This energy does feel a bit confusing. So that's why I'm sort of getting, there could be a lot of decisions on the table here um, in, in reference to this connection and also just what direction to go in in general. 
Um, so I feel like this is picking up on, there is one, definitely this person that I'm picking up on, one person here at least, is somebody who I feel has been kind of avoiding their spiritual growth, but it's almost like they're kind of getting to the brink of wanting to explore that, or they are wanting to maybe do something along the lines of reinvent themselves. And so that could be towards you. You know, you may be in their life or this may be a separation, but it's like this reinvention type of energy I'm getting. A planning, a strategizing, um, wondering from the distance even with the two of wands up here. Someone thinking, pondering from the distance, wondering, you know, and, and some of that could be you too, wondering what's happening here. Because I am picking that, picking up on that vibe for some of you to where you're currently at this point where you may be feeling this person's energy or this person's shift and then you also might be moving to kind of new territory as well with the nine of pentacles so there's a lot of like forks in the road here for everybody involved is kind of the, the feeling i'm getting so i'm hearing something about let me be honest with you so somebody may want to be honest they may want to express their honest truth you know what's really going on with the seven of swords up there of course that does refer to some kind of deception or dishonesty so this person who's coming up here uh the one i was talking about the king of cups i feel like they have you know maybe been a bit dishonest with themselves and they really do have this desire or urge recently to be honest with you and you might be in a position for one group of you to where you are actively kind of together or talking and you're wondering you know again like where's this connection going is this person really improving and i think that they are trying to where they want to at least bring some kind of fresh perspective to the connection and it also might be a separation too where this is someone who has been kind of in the seven of swords energy for a while i'm hearing pride as well so they may have been really stuffing um, a lot of emotions down and they're getting to the point here of wanting to be more honest with you and maybe m more honest kind of with themselves as well. So that's something coming up. Um, this person does feel to be in a sticky situation to where they've really had to sort of pry themselves away from something or they're in that process right now. So it gives me that feeling like, and for some of you, this is someone that, um, again, there's different kind of groups of you, but there is definitely someone who, this is this probably the same person, this King of Cups, they have been really actively like researching something about this connection, or they have been somehow just like awake, you know, with this magician here and how he's standing or sitting right here and looking forward. It's, it's almost like there's an awareness of something. So I feel like this person may have an awareness of this connection or they're beginning to have a, a deeper sense of awareness of this connection. But let's get some more information here and see. So tell us more spirit about this connection between you and this person that we're picking up on here today with the King of Cups. Because I keep getting that confused feeling. And see how this woman here, I think it is, um, with the fog kind of in the background. That's where I feel like you've been. So for you, the viewer, and how you would know if this maybe connects with you as well. They're showing me a caterpillar too. And here's the nine of pentacles again when I just shuffle these. Empress, the star. You may be in this sort of caterpillar stage where you're, you're becoming the butterfly. And you may have been feeling that you've been in the fog kind of when it comes to this connection. And even just like, again, on your last rope, it, it just gives me that feeling of like you only have one wand left here to give to this connection. Or you've been um, in a series of cycles here with one particular person. And it's like, again, you're kind of like on the, on the verge of giving up almost, it feels like. Or you are... Um, having this new horizon also opening for you to where you can feel other things coming in as well for you. So it just feels like that fog is sort of something that you are also feeling a bit confused about. Like I said, a lot of stillness around this, even though even though there's stillness, there's a lot of action being happening kind of in the background, things manifesting. This is like the next one to two months, the magician. So a lot of things are getting ready to manifest. Let's see, tell us more about this connection between you and this person with the King of Cups. So the connecting energy between you and this person. I'm seeing somebody go to a sporting event, um, football, it could be any event, but that could be how you also may recognize somebody here. They may go to a lot of sports games or they're a fan of one, one team or something and they go there a lot. But let's see, what is the connecting energy between you and this person, the King of Cups? 
yeah this is the same energy coming up to where it's almost like we're on the staircase and we are trying to elevate things but then we also feel kind of wondering if it's going to get there we have the three of swords and the four of swords yeah there's a frustration here for sure there's a frustration around again it feels like something you know look at these cards the, the two of wands the, the seven of pentacles the four of swords the three of swords none of these are like moving um so this feels like something where there's been a lot of heaviness around this and there's been this this feeling almost because i'm getting both angles of it i'm getting this person feels this way and we'll look more at them in terms of what they're feeling for you and all of that but this person who's coming up is connected to you they've been also feeling almost like kind of stunted or stuck in their life and they have been um, again, maybe going through something where their emotions are beginning to like um, come to the surface more. They're beginning to look more deeply into their emotional self. And then also you as well could be connected to them. So you also kind of feel this same energy from them or you're in the same position too, where you feel maybe at a crossroads in terms of, you know, here's the Queen of Cups, so a counterpart here. You may feel also this like hurricane that this person's holding. What do I do? You know, do I continue to... Um, invest in this you may even be taking a pause right now to reconsider to think things through um, you may be taking it some time with the seven of pentacles to just reevaluate. you know again it's almost like a chamber that somebody goes into or that you both are in and then we're looking on like the the cave walls and we have these different potentials opening or we have these options that we can choose from it feels like that kind of juncture moment where we have to choose something moving forward now we have to make a call in terms of what we're going to do next and and things like that so yeah four of cups that definitely summarizes a lot of what i'm feeling again this could be you definitely i'm getting it is this person but you also might be in this energy where you know we have this one cup here and then these three cups are spilt over um and it's like you know this person here looks very um just not happy very numb so there's that feeling of, of again you know what's wh what do i do from here or what's going on well, let's get some of these oracle cards what's the connection and then i will go into them what is the and when i divided here we have the firefly and we have jupiter the wheel of fortune so see that is that wheel of fortune popping out illumination inner fire soul spark magic attraction and see here we have the magician so it's like there's something where i feel somebody needs magic in their life somebody needs a spark somebody needs to get out of this numb energy okay so i feel like this person could be feeling that of like i you know i want to make these changes or i've been avoiding this for a while others of you might be in the boat here where you have been waiting for somebody to do this you've been waiting for someone to get out of the seven of swords energy of avoiding their own emotional world and we'll see more as to what they're going to do because i don't know yet but it feels like that's something that maybe the magician is is kind of like are we ready you know we're ready to start to attract something different or new what is the connection here between you and this person that we're tapping into okay so we have the man so this is just confirming to me that this is a man who a lot of you, if you want to reverse it, that's fine. But um, I think this King of Cups here is a man. We also have the Grasshopper. So leap of faith, easy going. So what? Don't worry, moving on. Yeah, again, there's something with that of like something about this four of cups and like i need to move on yeah the horse here break free tame see that's what i was saying too there's a spark that somebody really wants to feel so yeah we'll definitely keep going and unravel what this means exactly but somebody wants to break free from this complacent numb energy and i just feel like it's this desire to bring more of a spark bring more of a new energy or vitality to the connection or even to move away from this entirely if that's your story and just you know you want something more you crave something more for your love life here um, i'm going to get one of these theme cards and then i will go into more of this person over here and see what's going on with them so spirit can you tell us here what is the connecting energy between the viewer or just what is the theme here about this connection and, and this uh, situation for the viewer in love? And it also connects to you with that nine of wands because that woman up there really looks like 
um, really looks like she wants to kind of break free into that stallion energy. Like there's just this feeling of, of we need more. Like I need, um, I need more kind of. So we have daydreaming skies, what ifs, what could be's, much thought is being invested into this connection. It remains a dream for now until someone reveals themselves. Yeah, so for a lot of you, that could be the, the situation that you're in to where you have probably, you're probably on pause with somebody or you could be in a separation for a while. And it's like with this grasshopper, you know, when are we going to hop forward? Is there anything, is, is anything going to happen here? Um, are you going to make a move? Am I going to do something? Like what's happening? Um, and so I think that there is, again, maybe this, this desire for something to happen, or even I'm getting for some of you too, you may be feeling a shift within yourself of like, you need to break out of this cycle, or you have been feeling that there is something again coming, there's something brewing, and that has also been coming up in the collective too. A lot of changes um, are ahead here for a lot of the collective, um, for the viewers of this reading. So I feel like... Yeah, let's get one more. We have colliding paths. The universe is steering the course of this connection. You may not understand how this relationship will work, but a divine plan is in motion. Both parties must let go of control and let the wind carry. Yeah, so this is kind of a frustrating feeling because I really do feel the strong sense of surrender here um, with the magician of like, there is just this feeling of like the universe is taking control the universe, you may not have the answers, they may not have the answers, there's this up in the air, still numb, you know, maybe just this feeling to where again, you feel something coming, you feel this kind of sailboat moving into a certain direction for you, but you may not be able to pinpoint what it is. Um, and I will say too, this card is at the bottom and we have this here. So for some of you, I strongly feel for a group of you, there's somebody else that's manifesting for you. You may have two connections. One is a connection that is this faded sword. It says here, not every connection is meant to last a whole lifetime. The truth will find you when you complete the painful lessons this person brought into your life and you will see their purpose more clearly. And then we have a unique fifth dimensional exchange is taking place between you and a future lover. Your heart knows they're out there and one day your worlds will collide with the magician. So yeah, let's go deeper into this and see because you just take which one resonates with your heart. But I do feel that um, something right now is happening. Something is happening on a spiritual level to where you are aligning um, energetically to a somewhere love. So whatever that's going to mean for you, um, like I said, there's maybe a connection here that's ending, could be vice versa. So let's go ahead and get more. But I do think that if it is vice versa, there's this feeling where spirit's saying for you to know that, you know, again, everything is happening exactly for a reason right now. Um, you can feel this again, you can sense this. Um, there is something in the background that is manifesting. And you may just need to know that right now is a time for something with this sword here too. So some of you could connect with Archangel Michael and I'm seeing these swords with the three of swords, something about like the truth, something about um, like someone here going through again, this like inner truth and like unraveling things about themselves and getting to the bottom of sort of who am I and what do I want and who, you know, what do I do kind of from here? There's like a shift, like a door is opening. Something is changing directions here. But let's go ahead and look at this person so we can get some more information then. So who is the person who's coming up is connected to you? At least one of them, if there is two, we'll look at this page of pentacles next in terms of what they're feeling. But this person's coming up as the seven of swords. So let's see. Tell us about this person spirit who's coming up as the seven of swords, the person that the viewer is connected to. Yeah, this is someone who's been in their head a lot. They have been kind of feeling very cloudy. Um, I feel like this is someone who has been going very much back and forth when it comes to, yeah, the womb here. Exactly. And we have judgment. So this is someone who's been going through a judgment moment. For me, the womb is another very still energy. You know, this is an extra card in the deck, but we have the womb here. So it's a very still energy. And I'm seeing the 10 of swords is beneath that. So this person who's connected to you, 
They really are at a point of re-evaluation on many levels in their life, including this connection. And I do intuitively feel for a lot of you that they are going through some kind of learning experience. They are beginning to learn the, the, the parts of themselves, the pieces of this connection. Um, with those books I was getting earlier too, maybe wanting to share something with you or reopen things or even just like energetically, you both are learning a lot from each other. Um, this person is, is it's almost like they're, they've, so this person could have had an ending in their life recently, okay? And it's like they're holding on to something where it's almost like a building that has crumbled and they're still holding on to one pillar of the building and like even though nothing is left of it, they're still holding on to it. So I think that they're really in this very, very transitional phase of their life where a lot of things are coming to light within themselves right now, this person. And I feel like, I feel like they do want to talk with you. Yeah, so this person does want to talk with you. They may want to be sharing some information with you about what they've been going through. I'm hearing something like, I'm trying my best or I've tried my best. So they're in a little bit of a sad energy, I feel. So that is probably that Four of Cups person. Um, they could be feeling a bit sad. They could be feeling a kind of like they are at this point in their life where again, they've tried something for a long time and it just didn't work, whatever that is. It could be another connection. It could be certain lifestyles that they were involved in. And they kind of like held on to that for a while. You know, they, they made it everything of their life. They put a lot of focus into it and it just didn't work out or it crumbled. Um, and now they're at this point of like, what's next for me? What more is here? And so I do think that this is someone who, um, has really been forced in a way to look at their true self. They've been forced to go deeper within. They may have been someone who doesn't have a choice I keep getting anymore. Like they don't have a choice as to what, like, um, to face something or not. They don't have a choice here. And I don't know why that is. Maybe again, something has ended for them. Yeah, we have shattered chaos here. So this is definitely the person who's connected to you. They're going through a bit of chaos right now, definitely. And I'm hearing, I'm, I'm seeing a card from a deck. It says, I thought I could trust you. So I don't know, take this how this will fit. If it does, I don't really feel like it's connected to you. If it is connected to you, you know, maybe they're going through something within themselves to where they are needing to look at their own triggers and feeling that you may have triggered them or that they could have trusted you, but something happened. If not, they may have felt like they could have trusted somebody else around them. And yeah, they're in a very chaotic energy right now. They're in a very painful energy. This person feels like they're in a lot of pain um, and they feel like this, you know, glass, this shattered glass is everywhere. And they, they've seen something very clearly in their lives. They've seen people very clearly. They've seen, again, themselves more clearly. They definitely have gone through something where that seven of swords, they either ran from themselves and then something backfired, or they may have kind of gone into some situation and things fell apart. Um, so it's like, they definitely feel that this judgment card is like sticking out to me because even if it's uncomfortable for them, they've had a judgment moment, meaning that, um, especially in this deck with this person who's like putting her hands in the air, it feels like they have release something or how to free themselves from something. And it's definitely a feeling that um, they've seen again, something clearly, the light has come through. They've seen their life more clearly uh, is what I keep getting here. Let's see some more. What is this person? Who is this person connected to the viewer? I keep getting something about music and I'm being drawn to say too, with the page of pentacles, is it grounded? You know, pentacles is the earth realm. So this person could be like earthly thinking about you, if that makes sense. Like this is something about the earth where, you know, again, they could be listening to songs that remind them of you or thinking about you. This could be someone who does want to physically, tangibly offer something to you that you can actually touch and feel, you know, like as in an actual offer, not just energetically. Um, and there's this feeling to where the two of you may be aligned in more of a way to where, um, how to put this, this won't be for everyone, but if you have had like a purely energetic connection with somebody 
it may be coming to earth now. I hope that makes sense. Like it's not just energetic anymore. It's something to where they actually want to physically be around you or physically um, contact you. <clears throat> but that's just for some of you. Let's see more about this person who's coming up as being connected to the viewer. Tell us more about the Seven of Swords. Yeah, and I think, I feel like this came up in another reading, but I don't remember, but it's almost like being in an empty room and you really have nothing around you because everything has just disappeared and that could be so many things. It could be someone who again has had to leave a situation. Um, I am seeing we have family life here. So this could be about the family life. There could have been something that happened in that department for them. But it's like that feeling to where there's no more left of something that they held on to. Um, so they could be going through, again, a rough time in that way to where a lot of you, this is someone that you've been very connected to spiritually, the fifth dimensional lover. And actually, look, this says here, a fifth dimensional exchange. So as always, you know, take this how this will resonate. For some of you, maybe I'm picking up on a person that you have yet to meet, and this is just explaining that this is their life. Um, oops, this card just flew. If you don't, uh, sees a lot of action with this. If you don't like want this person anymore and all of that, you know, this, you can take it however you want to take these readings. It could be someone that you have yet to meet and they have just ended something in order for the two of you to come together. And with that faded sword, you know, maybe something in their life was not meant to last. And so now it can kind of lead the two of you back together or lead the two of you together. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I feel like this person is kind of in that empty room feeling to where, you know, again, they held on to something for a while and they have nothing left. So they could be in a completely like renewed energy. They could even be like, like, um, looking for like uh, a new life or something, or they're rearranging things in their life right now. We do have happiness, content. Tell us more about this person that's coming up as being connected to the viewer. And then I'll look at how they feel about you in a second. Keep getting sports. So this person could play sports. They could be a coach or something for somebody. So this person who's coming up is connected here to the viewer. The Seven of Swords, the Judgment. So who is this person? What are they moving through? Okay, so we have the owl sees through the facade secrets are lifted explore the unknown we have albatross a good sign or omen baggage burdens feeling cursed guilt shame and regret and i'm seeing at the bottom here we have the bellows a catalyst ignite things get going spark fan the flame so it's kind of what i was saying earlier that something is like there's a need for more with the with the horse here, the stallion. So, you know, this could be so many things. Maybe this is somebody who wants more from life than what they had been involved with or what they had settled for. Um, and it's like there's this, you know, bellow of like, I want to put air into this again and I want to spark something um, in some way or I just want a spark in my life that I haven't found. I want to be happy. I want to find happiness. But it took obviously the Ten of Swords for this person to get there or to get to this point of like um, finding happiness. So let me actually look now at how they feel about you so we can get some more clarity. How, how does this relate to you? How does this person think and feel about you with the Page of Pentacles? How, how are they thinking and feeling about you? I'm getting something about a belly button. I don't know if that's like an inside joke for somebody or something, but I don't know what they think about you is something about your belly button. <clears throat> what is this person thinking and feeling about you? Seven of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Fool. Yeah, this is definitely someone whose energy is intertwining with yours. Again, I don't know if that is just because it's someone who is a destined partner for you yet to meet with the Fool here. Um, this even could be that this is a separate person now coming up, but it doesn't have to be for everyone. It could even be that this is just someone who with the magician, I don't know how to put it. It's just like the, the paths are colliding between the two of you. Something where this person's thoughts and feelings about you 
um, is that they have more free time. They have more of a awareness of kind of where they want to go. And that's because they've freed up something. That's because they've ended something or they've just freed up something. So this fool to me is giving me the same feeling of that like bellows and the happiness, like wanting to fan the flame, wanting to like start something or have some kind of happiness. You know, like it feels like this is someone who... Um, it's definitely that same feeling. I keep being drawn to these books here. Somebody could even be into like magic, spell work, not in like a bad way, but just something to where they're learning. They're a student of something. It won't be the case for everybody, but maybe law of attraction, something with the esoteric world. They could be learning things, reading, researching, something like that. I keep getting, um, or they want to do that with you, or they feel like you're somebody who could be like this for them or like learning or help them learn. Um, something along those lines, but this is definitely someone who's thinking in terms of um, definitely like wanting to, well, I keep getting a lot of chatting and talking, so they could want to talk with you. They may want to have clarity with you even with the Six of Swords, or they want to um, kind of bridge, move, move more into your direction here somehow. Even if it's somebody who's a future love, they may be becoming more present or about to reveal themselves more in your life. Um, with the magician here and the fool too. Like you both could be two people who could learn a lot together I keep getting or you could grow a lot together as two souls here and it's like you both feel feel drawn to each other for that reason. There actually is a lot of happiness to come here with this grasshopper and remember this card here too, the colliding pass. You may not understand this but with this fool and these like stepping stones that this woman's walking on, it is something that you can't right now see maybe. But with the bellows, you know, it's like the universe is going to bring this wave in and all this, the fire is going to start again. It brings oxygen to the, to the spark. So just trust right now, I feel like, is a main message coming up in this reading. Really trust in what's happening in your love life. Trust in new beginnings. Trust in this grasshopper. Someone is about to make an appearance. Someone's about to be guided to you. Um, I'm getting something about thumbs, thumbs up. Um, so yeah, it's like a green light here from this. It feels like someone feels like you are a green light. Somehow they feel like this is like, the, again, there's something about you that they are either looking at, observing, or they just intuitively feel guided to you because you could share something or offer something or the two of you again could grow. Um, let's get some more about how they feel about you. What is this person thinking and feeling about the viewer? Tell us more about the Page of Pentacles. There is also an attraction here, which I'm getting again feels very new to me. It feels like something which is either this new spark reigniting or it's a completely new person. It's like, you know, wanting to explore what that could be between you both. Okay, so I... These are kind of too many cards, but I guess I guess we'll take them. Um, we have love is fading, needs to go through spiritual healing, and transformation letting go. Let me get one more, though. How are they feeling about the viewer? Yeah, and that letting go for me is definitely like with the grasshopper, the fool. It feels very light. Um... It feels light to me. Like. Yeah, something about it feels like a, a light new beginning is the best way to put it. And maybe with the spiritual healing, that's kind of what I was getting, you know, with the um, Ten of Swords. This person may have had to go through a lot of spiritual healing. And they seem to have gone through that. They seemed with the owl here to, you know, maybe they've been able to, you know, again, see something clearly in their life. And um, it just feels like that overall sense of this sunflower here, the butterfly, the fool. There is a lot of, and the grasshopper, a lot of like airy light energy I keep getting is coming in. So if you feel like you're in this very heavy place, heavy energy, um, it doesn't seem to be lasting for much longer. It feels like there's those two groups of you, you know, it could be someone that's ready to come back from the past or somebody who's ready to make things more of a, um, like more locking, locking it in maybe, or not even that. It just feels like you both are being again, guided and led somehow to each other for a deeper spiritual purpose. So they may be, this has all happened kind of for a reason for your past to collide. 
It also might be that new person who's about to come in. Could even be a secret admirer for some of you with the Page of Pentacles, somebody who is watching you right now and they feel like, you know, um, they are in the process of letting go so they can kind of blossom and move like this grasshopper and, and actually you both can, can collide. So yeah, I feel like that's what it is. At the bottom too, we do have boredom, losing interest. That's kind of what I was getting with that Four of Cups too. This person may be kind of bored right now in their life or something, or they just haven't been feeling very good. Um, what is this person's thoughts and feelings about you? We have the ring. Okay, so contract, partnership, trust, closure, promise, and bond. And here at the bottom, we have the waterfall, flood of emotions, abundance, overflowing, release, and fulfillment. So see, we have this release again, um, letting go, transformation. So there's some kind of big release happening, which is why I keep referring to insects. You actually, If you watch the last collective reading I did, I think I titled it something about you have shifted timelines. There was a lot of insects coming up and they're coming up in this reading too. So for me, um, I don't know, there's something about insects and kind of, could, it be, could, could even be like springtime maybe. It just feels like there's this lightness coming in with the waterfall, like we've been able to release those heavy, dark emotions. And now it's like we're met with this lighter energy to where we can be with somebody in a lighter way. And they feel like you, you bring that without, you bring that in, you bring that out in them or they feel guided to you because you have that kind of lightness to your vibration to where you can really um, draw this maybe new person, if that's the case, in because you both are in a lighter phase of your life, if that makes sense. So something with insects here. So let's just get a little bit more here. Um, I just grabbed this deck that I want to go into. So. Let's see, and I'm just kind of shuffling these on the side here to see if they can add anything to the reading. These little handwritten notes we have here. I've never stopped thinking about you. So again, some of you, this is someone who's never stopped thinking about you. They think about you all the time. Um, even if there has been a pause with the Three of Swords, they still think a lot about you. We have, I wonder if we would have, could have made this work if we would have done things differently. So yeah, that kind of gives me the same feeling of that heavy cycle. You know, if it is someone that you didn't have things work out with before, um, they may think back to that and wonder, you know, like, could things have worked out differently if we would have done things differently? And maybe they do want to have a different um, outcome with you now. We have others will talk about us, but I don't care what they say anymore. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. So again, if you don't have interest in a past person, then you can just disregard these. Um, it also could be that this is someone that is just having to, again, move through a lot of truths about their environment right now. Past or future person, doesn't matter. They still have to move through this. And I feel like they are thinking a lot about you. I feel like you are too good for me and it triggers my unhealed wounds. So I feel like that also could be it too with a ton of swords and the spiritual healing. Um, there's been a lot in this connection if it is a past person where there's been a lot of like this person need, need had needed to raise their vibration they needed to get to the point of being at the vibration that you were at and they weren't able to do that because they were so kind of bogged down their energy was very weighted down you know it's like karmic debt it's things that they hadn't dealt with it's it's things that um with that king of cups we had it makes better sense now because i feel like the king of cups is somebody who can be you know, when they are evolved and when they're in a high vibration, they can be very caring, very loving, but they also could be, when it, when it, when they are not in that vibration, they could be someone who is has a tendency to have addictions or be a people pleaser or just, you know, is not in their best energy. So I feel like this person is someone who is very sensitive, tender, kind, um, but they may have had to really flush out kind of things in their aura and they really had to do that. So this won't be for everyone, but we have, I'm leaving a third party because all I can think about is you. That will not be for everyone, but let's get some more message cards and then we will get some outcome energy here. And then I will go to the extended and we will get a lot more about how this person is thinking, feeling about you, their intentions. We'll, we'll look more into you know, just what's happening next year. But let's see, what does this person want to say to you? Anything else?
tell the spirit about we'll look more at their personal life because some of you that could give you an indication as to if you're confused of who it is maybe you know we'll look at that but let's see what does this person want to say to you about their thoughts their feelings and I can definitely feel the energy is lighter like even when I'm channeling this reading, it feels like there's a lightness to this. It feels like there's something where you, a lot of you as the viewer, have been feeling more lighter. Um, and so this would be that you are picking up on that vibration. Okay, so we have, I know it's time for me to be honest with you, but the truth may be hard to hear. We have social media. What you see is not everything it looks like. Don't jump to conclusions based on that. So just take these how they will apply. We have drama. I don't want to complicate the situation any more than it already is. Okay, so here we have this truth again. We have, if I told you the truth, you will be shocked. I'm afraid of your reaction. So we'll look more at that later. There is more than meets the eye. The way that I act isn't a true reflection of my feelings. We have, I'm trying to find ways to get your attention. I don't know if you're interested anymore. Okay. I feel like with the strength card coming up here, I'm seeing peeking through. Um, I do feel like this is someone that's because I am picking up on that feeling for a lot of you, or for one group of you at least, there is someone here who, they're very much in a King of Cups energy right now, and it's almost like they're a sideways King of Cups, if that makes sense. Like, they're not a reverse King of Cups, but they're kind of someone who is, like, needing to get gather the strength within themselves right now to make those changes, and I think that this person could be even looking you up somewhere on social media, or trying to find ways to see what you're up to, or to kind of, like gravitate more towards you in some kind of magician way here um and it's like they have something to say with those books they have things to reveal they have secrets to expose they have maybe um these these truths within themselves about how things could have been different if they would have done things differently if you both would have done things differently there's definitely other people involved though okay or there were a lot of people and that's kind of what i was saying too with this card i feel like this person with the king of cups they could be easily triggered or they were previously triggered by you, but they never have stopped thinking about you if that's the case, you know, even if it's a, a temporary separation. They've been doing a lot of thinking about you right now, recently, this last few days, last few weeks. Um, and I feel like they have really been having a lot of eye-opening experiences within themselves right now. And they really have, um, with this flood of emotions, see the cups too. They may even want to expose something about their emotions. They may want to, they could even be going through something in their personal life, like with the shattered to where they are crying or they are kind of like releasing a lot of heavy emotions. They are needing to lighten up their energy because spiritually speaking, um, their higher self knows that they have to kind of release all of that before they were to come towards you, if that's the case. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I feel like yeah, so let's see what the potential outcome is here. And then again, we will go a lot more into them in the extended. But let's see. So Spirit, what do you want to tell the viewer about just kind of what's next in general? Um, because for some, you know, maybe there are two groups of you. What do you want to say to the viewer about, you know, what's next here? What's manifesting? What can kind of summarize all of this in terms of the things that are happening next? Yeah, I'm seeing someone go into like a crystal shop or a spiritual shop here. So I don't know if that's just something to where you would meet somebody there for a few of you. Or this is someone who wants to, I don't know why, there's, there's just something with those crystals and the books and the wands of like learning something. And I'm seeing a, a spiritual shop for someone so maybe they've been they've been going there um
what does the viewer need to know about what's next in their love life and this connection and all of it? Okay, so we have sweet assortment. You have many suitors to choose from. Yeah, so as I was saying, I do feel, and this has been coming up in the collective too, um, you, you can choose, you know, which chocolate do you want because I feel like you have both. Um, you may have... That could be why I'm seeing different elements here too with the magician. You know, you have pentacle, pentacles, wands, cups, and swords. Um, you can choose what you want. For some of you, this doesn't have to be the case for everyone, but maybe a connection is over and you have another love, but they still want to come back because this is the truth coming into you. You know, the painful lessons, you're about to see the truth. They may want to share the truth. I mean, yeah, we have the word truth here. They may want to share the truth with you about everything that happened between the two of you in the past, why, where they've been, how they feel about you. It's like a big waterfall is coming. And again, I did reference a big wave in my last collective reading too, to where this big kind of wave collectively is coming in to where it's going to bring a lot of truth, releasing of emotion. But at the same time, at the same time, it's also bringing in a new timeline for you as well. So you have like two or three different options I feel to choose from. Whether that's, you know, one of them is the past person, one person's a new person, one person's another person you're talking to. There's just something to where you have many choices to make here. Um, we have the universe is supporting you and showing the way, the sign. So you do have a sign here, maybe with the butterflies. Some of you definitely with insects again are coming up. Maybe you've been having a lot of signs recently about which direction is the best one for you to move in or you you know the, you don't have to fear because the universe is, has your back um this feels just like a big justice moment to me like where things are coming back around for you to have closure clarity um you are having your your way kind of what is what it feels like honestly like you have your options you have your way you have your um it's your time to kind of be the one that things come to you so we have yes these are christmas cards i don't care i love them we have someone is determined to make things right with you holiday cheers so that's this person and then we have this is the beginning of a new chapter in love yeah so this is the beginning of a new chapter let me pull one final card and then we'll get the bowl because again i do think you have different options Anything else which could summarize, Spirit, the outcome here for this entire situation? So what exactly is this new chapter? Do we get any insight into what this new chapter is for the viewer? Okay, we have awakening. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. Yeah, so that's what I've been saying in the reading uh, with that bellow. We have the balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. One more. Time apart. Some distance will help to bring clarity. At the bottom, we have intuition and obsession. Let me get actually one of these. What is the outcome here, Spirit? For what is this new chapter? The Page of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like you're going to have an offer coming in. Again, I do think it's going to be from multiple people, the Two of Cups. So yeah, beautiful. The Star, the High Priestess, something about your intuition. Wow, the Chariot, the Eight of Cups. There's a lot of big energy coming in. Um, this is beautiful with the Two of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Star. Yeah, so like I was saying, you know, you really are guided right now. Um, and if you are new to the channel and you haven't watched one of my recent collective readings, you may connect with that too, because a lot of it's coming up that there's like a new start, a new beginning in all ways. Um, and it feels very, just very healing, very therapeutic, very light. You know, again, there's this lightness to the touch. There's a lightness to what's about to come in. And you are, it's kind of like the, the storm is over and we've already rebuilt the city. Um, and there's no more storms coming. It's like, I mean, there will at some point be, but she's like, right now we can kind of just enjoy the moment. It definitely feels like that, like a big, um, like one big chunk of time kind of where it was very turbulent with that fog and the nine of wands up there has, has gone away. Um, and there's something to where a lot of you just really tap, you've really felt this intuitively recently. 
you know what to do and I think that you know what's coming. I think that you know what's best for you um, with the somewhere love here too. Maybe you know that you have options. You know that like some of you even know like this day would have come eventually. You knew that this person would come back or you knew that this person would want to balance things out with you. But at the same time, you know, maybe you also know that you're in such a different energy now that you also deserve better or maybe you just deserve to um, explore different options and things like that. So yeah, we'll go more into it in the extended, but let me go ahead and pull from the bowl now. And just to cover, we'll go in the extended. I'm going to look at this person's life right now and just kind of see what's going on with them. We will take a look and see um, more about what they're thinking and feeling about you, more message cards, what they are intending with you. And then we'll definitely look at like what's manifesting for you. What is these? What are these assortments coming in for you um, and what you can expect in the next chapter of your love life here? Okay, so let's go ahead and get the bowl. These are definitely not going to be for everyone. So if they don't resonate with you, that's okay. They're only meant to be very specific for a few people who need extra confirmation. So don't worry about it. Um, and you may want to turn down the volume. It can be very loud when I shuffle these. So starting with names, we have Samantha, Grant, Jamie, spelled like that. We have Mario, Latanya, Leandra, Rosa, Mauricio, Anika, or Anika, Tina, Tracy, Elena, Monica, Tanisha, Vladimir, Chime, or Chaim, Kendra, Carlton, Faith, Leslie, Asha, Britannia, I just saw sixteen, sixteen, Charlie with two E's, Shay, Cynthia. Carmen, Kieran, Rayona, Abby, Ashley, spelled like that, Judith, and Vernita. And then here we have for locations, we have Ottawa. Cuba, Phoenix, Mississippi, Louisiana, Boise, Queensland, Life Path number seven, Life Path number six. We have lawyer, someone could be a lawyer, short, so maybe on the shorter side, someone here. We have Aquarius rising and Capricorn rising. So I will go over now to the extended. So thanks so much for being here. I really hope that this reading could connect with you. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you guys over at the extended or next time. Um, take care and lots of love.